to natural resources, land, soil and water. Natural resources are very important for economic development, but the distribution of these resources in the world is highly uneven. Land, soil, water, vegetation, animals are everywhere while minerals and energy resources are concentrated in few regions only. Land Land is the most important natural resource as human beings live on it. All the living beings find food and shelter on it. We also build our homes on it, construct roads and railway lines, set up industries and do mining on it. The land surface is not uniform. We find a variety of landforms on it. These landforms vary in shape and size. Mountains Mountains are the high altitude region on the surface of the earth. All major continents have some spectacular mountain ranges. These mountains have most useful forest and various types of vegetation. They control the climate. Many high altitude mountains are covered with snow. The snow is the source of a number of perennial rivers. The Rockies and Andes in North and South America respectively and Pyrenees and Alps in Europe are very huge mountain ranges. In Asia, the Himalayas, Kingan and Yoglonovi are the main mountain ranges. In Australia, the Great Dividing Range is the main range while in Africa, the Atlas Mountains in the Northwest and Drakensberg in the Southeast are the important mountain ranges. Plateaus They are the raised blocks of vast land with flat surfaces. Most of the plateaus of the world are rich in minerals and forest resources. Many of the world's high plateaus are either deserts or suitable for cattle grazing. 45% of the earth's surface is covered by plateaus. Some of them are known for plantation. For example, Brazilian plateau is known for coffee plantation. Indian plateaus are rich in mineral resources. Plains Plains are low altitude fertile stretches and are very conducive to habitation. For this reason, the plains of world have the highest density of population. Most of the plains are drained by rivers and they are called the cradles of civilization. This is because our ancient civilizations have developed on the plains in the river valley areas. They provide most favorable conditions for agriculture and human settlement. Some of the important plains in the world are Prairie Plains of North America, Pampas of Argentina, the vast steepy island in Europe and Asia, Nile Valley Plains in Africa, Huangho and Yatse Kiang Plains in China and Great Plains of India. India The Indian subcontinent is located in the southern part of Asia and is cut off from the rest of the Asian continent by the mighty Himalayas. They are situated in the northern parts of India and extend from Jammu and Kashmir to Arunachal Pradesh. A large part of Himalayas is under permanent snow. It is the source of many rivers flowing in India. On the basis of their altitude, the Himalayas are divided into Shivalik, the Middle Himalayas and the Greater Himalayas. The Karakuram mountain ranges with the world's second highest mountain peak, Mount Ketu, is located north of the Himalayas. There is a vast stretch of flat surface called the Northern Plains or Great Indian Plains. These plains are founded by the alluvium brought by the rivers flowing from Himalayas. The plains have rich fertile soil and agriculture is highly developed here. They provide a good network of roads and railways and support more than half of Indian population. Trivia UNO declared 2015 was the International Year of Soils. The peninsula part of India is largely covered with plateau. This peninsula plateau is the oldest block of India. It is made up of ingenious or metamorphic rocks. The northern part is called Malwa Plateau and it continues up to Chota Nagpur Plateau in the east. The Deccan Plateau lies in the south of Vindhyas and is bound by the eastern and western Ghats. The Deccan Plateau is flanked by narrow coastal plains, the west coastal plain and the east coastal plain. The western part of Rajasthan is the Great Indian Desert. India has two major island groups, 
Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal and Lakshadweep Island groups in the Arabian Sea. Trivia The Greater Himalayas or Northern Range average approximately 6,000 meters in height and contain the three highest mountains on Earth. Mount Everest, 8,848 meters, K2, also known as Mount Godwin Austin, 8,611 meters and Kanchanjunga, 8,586 meters. Land use. Land is used for different purposes such as cultivation of crops, grazing of animals, building houses and roads, mining, etc. This is called land use pattern. The ever-growing population is responsible for changes in land use pattern. It has led to conversion of forested areas into croplands and croplands into non-agricultural uses such as roads and buildings, etc. The land use pattern of a country depends on a number of factors like topography, soil, climate, availability of water and mineral resources. Fertile and well-watered plains are used as croplands. Occurrence of mineral resources favor mining. Besides, economic and human factors are also important. For example, areas having low-grade ores may not see mining develop because of high cost of production. Similarly, densely populated areas tend to encroach upon forest land to make room for other human requirements like buildings, houses, roads, etc. Environmentally speaking, a country must possess 33% of its area under forests. Unfortunately, most of the countries including India do not fulfill this norm. But on the other hand, India possesses the highest percentage of area under cropland and has the highest number of livestock population. Since land is a fixed asset, there tends to be a stiff competition among various land users in a given country. Keeping in view the nature of land and the requirements of the community, land use has to be planned properly to get the best results. Careless use of land may create problems like shortage of croplands, soil erosion, deforestation and desertification. Soil Resources The uppermost thin layer of earth crust that supports all vegetation is known as soil. All living beings including plants and animals depend directly or indirectly on soil for their survival. Temperature and rainfall are the main climatic factors affecting soil formation. Frequent changes in temperature and presence of water quicken soil formation through increased weathering of rocks. Weathered rocks do not get accumulated on steep slopes. They are moved down the slope by water and under the force of gravity. In plains and areas with gentle slope, soils tend to accumulate there without any difficulty. Dead plants and organisms provide humus to the soils, making them fertile. Earthworms and ants create space for air and water in the soil. Time factor also plays its role in soil formation. The longer the time for soil formation, more deeper is the soil layer. Besides, weathering of rocks, moving water and winds also contribute to soil formation. These factors of erosion deposit materials on earth's surface. Alluvial soils formed by rivers are highly fertile. Soil has been identified into two main zonal groups, pedal firs and pedal cals. Peter cals. Pedal firs. Pedal firs are the soil types found in humid climate of high latitudes. Example, coniferous forests, mid-latitude deciduous forests and low-latitude tropical forest lands. Pedosolic soil. Pedosolic soil is of ash grey color and found in high latitude coniferous regions. Grey-brown pedosolic soil. This soil is found in mid-latitude deciduous forest areas of Western Europe and Northeast USA. It is highly fertile. Red and yellow pedal far. This kind of soil is found in low latitude areas. Leaching is the main problem of this soil. Peter cals. Peter cals are those soil which are found in arid, semi-arid and semi-humid areas of the world. They are Shernozem soil. This is black soil rich in humus and is very fertile. It is mainly found in steepy land. 
prairie soil. This is found on the prairie lands of North America. It is also a fertile soil. Sandy soil. This is a desert soil and green color. It is found in hot desert areas of the world. Mountain soil. This soil is normally found on highlands like Rockies, the Andes and the Himalayan mountains. This is an undeveloped soil. Soils of India. These categories of soil are identified in India. Alluvial soil. This is a very fertile soil and supports the growth of agricultural crops. This kind of soil is found in northern plains and east coastal plains. It is formed by the deposition of alluvium brought down by the rivers flowing down the Himalayas. Black soil. This soil is found on the Deccan Plateau covering large parts of Maharashtra, Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh. It is black in color and is most suitable for agriculture. Trivia Formation of soil is a lengthy process. It takes about 500 years to form a layer of soil of about 1 inch thickness. Laterite soil This soil is found in patches on the Meghalaya Plateau and Western Ghats where rainfall is heavy. It is poor in quality. Red soil. It is found in the western part of the peninsula plateau. It is reddish in color. It is not very fertile. Mountain soil. This is an undeveloped soil and found on the Himalayan region. Soil erosion. Depletion and erosion are the two main problems of soil. Continuous cultivation of crops robs the soil of its fertility. If the same crop is grown every year, the soil may get deficient in some nutrients. Some crops help to maintain soil fertility by returning nitrogen content to the soil, for example, leguminous crops. Fertility can also be restored by application of manures and fertilizers. But the chemicals used in fertilizers can render soil unfit for cultivation in the long run. The most important problem of soil is soil erosion. Loose soil devoid of vegetation is liable to higher rate of erosion. Physical and human factors also contribute to soil erosion. Physical factors include intensity of rainfall and velocity of wind. Human factors include deforestation, overgrazing, reuse of chemical fertilizers and faulty irrigation practices as our irrigation leads to salination. Soil Conservation the wise and rational use of soil so as to protect it from erosion is called soil conservation. If we don't take steps to protect soil from erosion, then life on earth will become difficult. We must protect forests from destruction. More trees are to be planted in open areas as roots of trees help to bind the soil together. Measures should be taken to control floods by building check dams, contour plowing, Crop rotation, controlling overgrazing are some measures by which soil conservation is possible. Some of the methods used by the farmers across the world to conserve soil are Contour plowing. In this method, the farmers plow along a slope rather than up and down the slope. It reduces erosion. Terrace farming. This is a process in which hill slopes are used as cultivable land. The farmer cuts terraces into slopes to create flat areas to grow crops because flat land is scarce in hilly areas. Crop Rotation This is a practice in which different crops are grown in systematic succession. Crop rotation adds nutrients to the soil. It also helps in pest control. Another effective method of soil conservation is afforestation or planting of trees on a large scale. Planting a large number of trees reduces wind speed and free flow of water and thus stops soil from being carried away. Use of eco-friendly fertilizers and planting of indigenous trees and shrubs are significantly helpful in soil conservation. Water Resources Two-thirds of the earth is covered with water. Most of the earth's fresh water is found in rivers, streams, lakes and ponds. The saline water in the ocean has to be treated before it is fit for consumption. Water is an indispensable resource because all types of water are dependent on it. Fresh water is used in agriculture 
and also for industrial and domestic consumption. But its availability depends on the amount of rainfall in an area. Some places get heavy rainfall while others remain deficient. In areas of heavy rainfall, water seepage creates a good reserve of groundwater which is another source of fresh water. The amount of available fresh water may also vary according to the pattern of consumption in a region. However, the water cycle in which water evaporates forms clouds and then precipitates back to the surface, keeping the amount of water almost stable. In many countries, including India, river valley projects have been developed to utilize water for various purposes. For multi-purpose projects, dams are constructed and water is collected in a reservoir. This water is put to various uses such as irrigation, hydroelectric power generation, afforestation, navigation, etc. Most of the large rivers across the world have been utilized for this purpose. The amount of rainfall in India is unevenly distributed, which makes fresh water availability insufficient in many regions. After independence, the government undertook many multi-purpose projects to make water easily available for farming and other activities. Many such projects have made the states of Gujarat and Rajasthan fit for agriculture and also help in controlling floods and soil conservation. However, increasing urbanization, water pollution and absence of water management are responsible for the choking of fresh water supplies the world over. The government at various levels needs to develop ways to conserve and manage water resources. Trivia Fresh water accounts for only 2.5% of the Earth's water and most of it is frozen in glaciers and ice caps. The remaining unfrozen fresh water is mainly found as groundwater with only a small fraction present above ground or in the air.